YouTube, my name is Dark and Blade Gaming, and welcome back to Shadow of Baden and Ultranium. Um, last episode, I said I was going to do a bunch of events, but I did them on camera, but I just realized they're all pretty much identical to how they are right now, so I, it wouldn't be really good. So, yeah. Let's, uh, we're just going to do the straight, jump straight into the Xenanias fight again. But what, basically what I got of it was this mount, an upgraded gun, Oh crap, I should probably make some more points. I was like, oh, wait, that, that's a bit suspiciously low. Yeah, because it is. You, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. 400 and. Oh, wait, no, that was that. I already had too much. I thought I was, it was 49 instead of. So where are my vials? Buy some more. I really like the venom and venom ammo. So just I think that's enough. Yeah, those things are really cheap. They're not that hard to get. So it's just all around really good. Five hundred. That should be enough. Let's buff up, um, I did get, it's magic damage, not, um, okay, I, for saying, I thought that was a summon weapon, I was like, I, I was uh, half certain that it was a bad summon, I was like, okay, that's gotta be it, I didn't check. Yeah, I was like, did I get half the last episode? I got this fight down pretty well. What was hitting me? Oh. But it's still going. Okay, that's a bit bullshit. I have to dodge them. Wow. It almost feels alive. I don't know what's up with Zenanus. I haven't found. Like, I, I I don't know the lore at all, but I ha the, he just he seems a bit out of place. You make his stuff from goblin stuff. And, uh, okay. Um, should I make this? I might make it. Um, I mean, you should need a lot of shadow flame for that. I might make it. Is it, um... Yeah, it's a general set. So yeah. That seems pretty decent. So what are we doing next? Uh, Morningwood... Betsy Primordia. And I looked up how do you get the stuff for Primordia. It's during a sandstorm, so... 
let's just dump away this. Uh, this goes into material, as does this. Uh, you go into weapons. Oh, I, oh yeah, I purged a lot of them. So, look, I'm pretty sure this starts a sandstorm. Hello? Do I have to be in the desert? I might have to be in the desert. I think that's one of the things. Primordial Hut. What the heck is that? What did that? Why was there just a laser from the sky all of a sudden? I hate how low the visibility is in. Nice try. Okay, with another sandstorm down. Desert quartz, huh? Yeah. Sandstorms are brutal. Like, I remember when I was younger, and... Well, I, it wasn't that long ago when like, 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 3 came out. Was it? Okay, that, that, that would really make it feel old. It was like, it's been like 5 years. Um, if, if it's actually been like five years or something, but uh, like I, it was like back when 1.3.2 just came out, and it was like, oh, sandstorms are now a thing. And so I, I, I farmed forever to try to get a sand elemental, couldn't find one. And then, yeah, it, it, I eventually got one, and it just killed me. So I was an idiot, and I was young. Lizard bar. Some, I guess I'll grab some lizard stuff. Let's see how to make it. It's always in no some annoying temple generation anyway. No harm though. Oh! Oh, wait. A very strange mushroom seems to have uprooted itself and began to walk. Very susceptible to heat. Huh? I think I thought that there was a mob, but like a critter I'm supposed to catch it. Let's see what I can craft it. It's a mushroom, so maybe it's related to the other mushrooms? Okay, so you craft it into... <laughs> I can't pronounce that. The god of the sun, the lizard and mushroom was a mushroom all along. How do you... That is odd. I guess I'll put it with the other... Um... 
Now we've got three. I think. Uh, yeah, the other one's in one of the, uh... How do I make these art bricks? I mean, bars. I already have bricks. And chlorophyte. Ah. Do I have some chlorophyte? I hope I do. If I do. Where's the actual bar thing? Let's see what crafting station's at. Is it, is it at one of those forges? I sold all of them. I trust I'm gonna check. What, what do I... Okay, so I have everything for that that I need. Throwing damage. Something damage. I might make that if I have left over. Oh, I, I, okay, I need quite a lot more of that. I know it's lizard stuff. I don't know how lizard operates into this, because this basically says you need to get a, um... Lizard furnace. Wait, how do I get a... Is it, Take another mural there. And you grab some gold. Is it like one of those things you find in the, um... That is the oddest, um... That's the oddest, uh, thing. Cause it, one of it's from the desert, but the other is... If I happen to have sold all of the, um... I might have sold all the ovens. Please don't tell me I'm screwed. I've screwed myself. How was I supposed to know the oven would actually be used for something? It's always just been furniture. Oh, don't tell me. I swear to god, if it actually just turns out- Oh, nope, you're screwed. Come on. That's a- Okay, it is a bad one. I had no idea I would end up needing this. Oh, what do I replace? Um, probably this. Forgotten insignia. Now let's dump all this. Um, yeah. These will just go in miscellaneous materials because I don't have enough space. In this will go in blocks. This will go, go in trash. I do need to. Uh, I'll grab a a bunch of gold so I can buy the, uh, more crap. Uh, where'd I put my... There it is. There it is. There they are. Just buy 600 of these. Ancient Lizkin. Like, where the, um. Amordia. Okay, it's, it's explicitly in the desert. I should probably make a better arena, but let's just try. Were the ones in the desert, were they a lizard? I couldn't see because all the of uh, all the sandstorms. Yeah, 
Let's give it a shot. Because if it is, yeah, the forgotten deed of the ancient Lizkin. If that's true, then this is a contradiction. I, I know it's like it's intended. It's, you're not intended to have both these mods on at once. Is this a new projectile, man? Okay, how am I supposed to? Oh god. Yeah, I really hate these such bosses where it's just grind for a material. Is there a different way to spawn it? I'll see you guys in a second after I look it up. Okay, we're back. This is actually the fourth time I'm refighting this boss. Because... Well, I, I don't like this boss. I'll show you. Yep, it always starts off with very hard to it isn't too bad though. It could basically just stay still and wait. This one's a Bit frustrating first. Okay, 150 damage is not okay. Okay, so I guess it's actually Oh no, now it's moving. Really what is it doing? Really starting to get worried at the end, because like I, I don't, I don't think a boss's attack should ever do 150 damage when it can hit with that level of intensity. Because uh, you guys probably didn't see this because it didn't actually use that attack. I probably killed it too fast, but it ha it has an attack that not only tracks but predicts your movement. That's fine. Pre like the trick in those is to predict the prediction. Here's the thing: it's also extremely accurate. So. If you stay still to, to like juke it out, uh, it'll just focus immediately on you and hit you. Like there's a reason why um, the radiance doesn't act because I, I read I read in the wiki that it's inspired by the radiance. There's a reason why the radiance never directly targets you uh, with the lasers until like the final phase, which I don't think really counts because you're a million miles away. Because the whole thing is predicting the patterns. If it's if you can't predict it. It's rather, let's see, uh, another one that summons stuff to his opening. Oh. Primarily a rune. What can I make with this? Yeah. Just maybe, maybe tone down the damage. It's just a bit too much. What am I, I, like on the base? Okay, let's see. Range damage. One hundred and eight range damage. Oh. Two hundred range damage. No, one hundred and forty-eight. So yeah, this this is better. So let's uh, let's go with the sun. Yeah, I didn't get like oh, uh, well, it's supposed to be like the lizard's god. So why do we get it in the desert? Because it's like 
I'm, I'm not sure. It does a make, create a uh, humorous little, um... Yeah, I think this is a direct upgrade. Yeah, I'll start using this now. What is next on the murder list? Uh, nope. I'm gonna... Okay, do a fish wrong. I do have his, um... I do have his summons. I got, I got one a while ago. Yep, I have, a tr I have one trouble. Which does mean I have to beat him in one try. Is my arena... No. That is not enough. And I, I prefer it when, when people use this for, like, references or something. Rather than just a mummy hand will fight for you. That's, that just seems a bit unimaginative for me. Okay, let's see. It goes into boss materials. Yeah. I was getting really sick of that boss. Mostly could like... One of, the, uh, one of the times I just had to completely scrap because the, um... The game just said, no, he's spawning in at the bottom of the of the uh, entrance to the underground desert. And yeah, you can't really fight something down there. Cause it's just a... Oh yeah, it, it was a bit of a contradiction. Did I already say this? I don't remember. It's, it, it's been like three days since I recorded the last part. Um, the 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 Ultranium says that the God of the Sun was a mushroom. Shadow of the Badden says it's, well, that thing. Yeah. Let's see, if anything else I can drop? Um, Primordia, more info. Loot collection. Yeah. I remember that be, I, I fought it four times, not five. But, like, I think the idea of the boss is good, it just needs a bit of fine tuning. And for that hitbox, hitbox to be bigger, like, yeah, definitely hit bigger hitbox. So next, we're gonna, next episode, we'll do Duke Fisher on the, and uh, the Lunatic Cultist, then it'll be Moon Lord. And then, yeah. So, until next time, my name is Darkenblade Gaming, and I hope you all have a great day.